William Bishop III thought he was the perfect applicant. He served for six years in the U.S. Marine Corps. He has a felony pot possession charge on his record, and he is a lifelong resident of the east side of Springfield. He checked every box for a social equity applicant in the state's marijuana lottery. You know, and I mean, it's just, it was so much hope, man. It was so much hope when all this started, man. We was out here working, rallying. That dream was all but crushed when the state released its first list of lottery participants last summer. Bishop was going to be left out of a new market that state leaders said would work for him. Governor Pritzker stopped the rollout of the first round of licenses because it didn't meet his equity-driven vision. He promised a do-over, but nine months later, there's still no date for the new lottery drawing. First, anger. Then there's kind of like you go through a period of being disillusioned. You don't believe in the system anymore. And then you kind of finally realize that nothing comes easy in, you, in a situation like this. You just have to stand up and fight. And this lot on the west side of Springfield is where Bishop plans to build his dispensary. But for now, it's just one of the many expenses that he has to keep paying while he waits for the state to release the next round of the lottery. I think you're already to that point where I think a lot of people are going to end up dropping out. Uh, they don't have the resources to be able to continue to go forward. They bought property. They optioned property. Um, they obviously the application fees. Chris Stone helped launch dispensaries in both Collinsville and Springfield with Ascend. He spent months working with Bishop and other social equity applicants statewide. Every one of the 18 dispensary applicants and 14 cultivation applicants he helped were shut out of the lottery. You know what the state has, you know, probably done them, not probably, they have done them a disservice by continuing to drag this on. Even so, Bishop still dreams of opening a dispensary and bringing jobs to his neighborhood. Can never give up hope, man. I knew all along that this was going to be a marathon. It wasn't a sprint. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hankey, WCIA3, your local news leader.